So welcome back to this continued episode. If you have guessed on the previous one what was the object I was building, then congratulations. For those who haven't, well, it's the interior of the Knowles airframe fitted with an analog compass. Now it's time to put those parts together and check again for the fit. Here's a comparison of the original part and the modified one. And the final result. The next challenge was detailing the Fenestron. And here's a quick video about the unique feature that the Gazelle has. From the French, who first armed helicopters in North Africa in the 50s, comes the Gazelle. A major weapon system for many countries, especially in the Middle East, a 4000 pound machine, the Gazelle, may well be remembered best for introducing the Fenestron, a small multi-blade fan and fin design that replaces the extended tail rotor, giving power, aerodynamics and safety. Now let's get back to work on that original part you will find in the kit. After some cutting and drilling, the Fenestron was slowly, slowly coming alive. Using a punch and a plastic heart, I extracted those parts I'm missing. For those tiny pieces that were difficult to hold still, I used the UV glue, which worked out pretty well. And here's a scratch build tail rotor gearbox. admit that the result was pretty satisfying. Now let's glue those parts together. I'm adding those missing handles that gives the model a more interesting look. I used a tap filter mesh in order to recreate the oil cooler compartment door. So here's the turbine, how it comes out of the box. Not satisfying, isn't it? Now let's do something about it. So guys, if you want to find out how this turbine modification came out, stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for a free notification. See you next time.